What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I've done a real video like this. I've been doing a lot of shorts lately. But um, yeah, right now I am in Buffalo, New York and I ordered from this vegan spot called Sunshine Vegan Eats. And pretty excited to give this a try. Hey man, Jesse Shredder, I don't know where you at, but you're late, you're gone, you missed it. I am stuck in the hotel right now with no car, so I used DoorDash. It did take a while. They canceled the first order and then the second driver came, so it took a little bit longer than I was hoping for, but I gotta eat this and then I have a wedding to go to later on, which is why I'm in Buffalo, New York. Congratulations, Paul and Michelle, if you see this. I'm super excited. Everybody's getting ready for the wedding now and I'm just pre-gaming. So let me open this up and show you what I'm working with. Now I do have my phone propped up in the coffee maker right now, so hopefully that works fine. So this is the vegan mac and cheese. I have, this is a, I believe it's a, like a cookies and cream type of shake. And I actually had a similar idea that I was already planning on doing for my new vegan spot that I'm opening in South Florida. So I was curious to see how this compared to what I was working on. If it's similar, completely different, but this is like a cookie monster type smoothie, which I've seen before, but I've been wanting to do my own, but we'll give this a try. I think maybe we'll try this first. Get all the paper off here. I wish they had uh, paper straws, but they don't. Wow. So, this was kind of pricey. Way more than I would normally spend, but because I'm out of town on vacation, I really wanted to give this a try. This is amazing. The only problem I'm having is there's supposed to be like broken pieces of cookie in here and it's getting stuck in the straw. So I'm not really being able to sip up a ton of liquid, but that is really good though. I'm gonna give the mac and cheese a try in a minute, in a minute. Hold on. Okay, here's a fork. Here's the mac and cheese. <laughs> wow. Interesting. It's a little spicy. It definitely tastes different than any vegan mac and cheese that I've tried in South Florida. Maybe a little bit too peppery for my liking. There is a good cheesy taste, but then there's also a little bit of an aftertaste that tastes a little bit like vomit. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. But it's definitely pretty good. Even better if you like vomit. What I like about this mac and cheese though, is that there is, it's not dry at all, which is tends to be an issue with, with mac and cheese. And then I got this, some fries. I'll give a fry a try. You can see it has pepper on it. Apparently this restaurant likes pepper. And this is a little greasy. And then, oh man, this looks crazy. I believe this is their buffalo chicken sandwich made with oyster mushroom. And what I like about this place is, I agree, blue should be in everything. I actually did blue 
stuff for Earth Day in all the food at the vegan deli. Um, so let me just um, snap a little clip for my Instagram and YouTube short, and then I'll continue this video in a moment. So I know a lot of um, vegan places use oyster mushroom as chicken. I've never personally tried it. So without further ado, let's give this a try. This looks crazy. So I believe this is blue coleslaw on the bottom. And there's some type of like ranch on the top. Pickles. This chicken sandwich is thick. I can't even find it, figure out where to start. Definitely got a kick to it. I'm gonna give it another bite. Interesting. So I know a lot of people are big fans of using oyster mushrooms for chicken. That was my first time ever trying an oyster mushroom as ch a chicken sandwich. Um, I feel like the breading is really what makes it. And then the, the sauce, the, as far as the texture as the mushroom being the chicken. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, I'm gonna give it another bite. There is something missing. It's definitely not bad. I really do not dislike it. Can't get anything. It's just there's something off. There's like a texture that's missing. I don't know if it's the chewiness. Also, I just noticed the pickle is sweet. Like I would have preferred a more like um, hamburger style pickle chip. Overall, I'm not sure that it was worth the money that I spent or the amount of time that I waited to get the food, but it's not bad. Um, but being my first New York vegan meal, I guess I should say Buffalo, New York vegan meal, I've had better in Florida. Anyway. I really wish I could get some out of here. I would give this place overall, the shake is by far my favorite thing. I believe this was the Cookie Monster Shake. This I would highly recommend, 10 out of 10, but as far as the rest of the food, the mac and cheese, the fries, and the chicken sandwich, I would have to give it like a 6 or 7 out of 10. There's definitely room for improvement. But. If you're in the area. And you want a different vegan meal. You don't want a burger. This definitely would be a very good option for you to check out. <clears throat> Maybe try something different. It is kind of pricey though. That's pretty much all I got for you right now. More videos coming soon, so I apologize for not doing videos like this in a long time, but hopefully I'll have some time to do more soon. Definitely stay tuned for YouTube shorts and um, 
subscribe to my channel, comment down below. If anyone else has tried Sunshine Vegan Eats in Buffalo, let me know what you think. Comment down below, subscribe, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.